Hello again, Libra. It's uh, Dedici Toth here from astrology.com.au with your uh, September overview. Usually a brief overview. But you, you can get more at the uh, website if you want more detailed analysis. And uh, looking at your horoscope, uh, what comes to mind here uh, for you this month, just as a general uh, note, is that if uh, you're using uh, spending and money and the acquisition of things as a way of <coughs> overcompensating for what's been going on in your relationships over the last year or two, then you maybe need to think again this month. You've got Mars in your zone of finance, income, and Saturn still just uh, slowly tracking its way through your sun sign. Uh, it's still going to be a bit of a dip for you until the sun returns to uh, Libra around the uh, third week of September. So hang in there. Um, the one other good thing you've got going for you, and that's happening right now, is the, the upper placement of the planet Venus, which is your ruling planet in that uh, uh, most important segment of the zodiac for Libra. Now that should show us, even though you've been maybe a little constrained in your personal relationships through this period, you do have the uh, advantage of probably feeling comfortable being able to channel all of your dissatisfaction, frustration through your work. And also because of the very fine aspect to uh, the North Node, uh, this relates to <coughs> plugging into cultural things, plugging into new opportunities where you can uh, channel your work and your expertise to areas that you may not have thought of before. So there's a degree of inventiveness and cleverness in the way you're using these energies this month. Uh, it's interesting that as the month commences, the full moon is in the sixth sector of your horoscope, which has a lot to do with your work practices, your routine. Health and hygiene and diet are also very, very important here. Uh, I can tell you if uh, the moon is in that sixth place uh, under, a full, under a full moon, then the sun, which is your vitality principally, is uh, in the twelfth, which is a bit of a low-key place, and again in the sign of Virgo. So this could be a month where you really have to, to take a good look at your diet, your health, and your lifestyle choices uh, and make a bit of a change on that. Incidentally, the Mars and the North Node in the second sector don't only relate to money. This has a lot to do with your dietary practices. I may have touched on that last month. And uh, so it's important this month to look at the key, uh, the key sort of uh, movements of your ruling planet. Now, Venus being your ruling planet, uh, which rules the sign of Libra, moves into the sign of Leo on the 7th of September. So there's a very nice shift from this uh, career focus <coughs> to relationships associated with your social group, larger issues or group activities, club activities, uh, and uh, casting its aspect on the zone of entertainment and fun and creativity is also um, an added bonus for you, uh, having that uh, occur on the 7th. Now, I was just looking here through the list. Excuse me for turning away. I'd like to just uh, get some time here. There's a, a, another aspect that your ruling planet makes soon after that on the 13th. So, so about a week later, when it moves to a very favourable aspect of Uranus. And that Uranus is in your seventh house. So um, different astrologers have uh, varying viewpoints on this seventh house. Usually it has to do with marriage and relationships, yes. Being Uranus, it indicates some favourable, unexpected change. Uh, could be that if uh, you've been a little bit flat over the relationship, as I mentioned earlier, then uh, this could be a time when, out of the blue, your partner may be prepared to uh, say or do something to help smooth over the problem. The other thing is it has to do with travels, sudden or abrupt changes from uh, where you are. And as we saw, the moon in the place of routine and your work, could be some unexpected changes that take place. Those unexpected changes are likely to be reasonably good and we see that through the type of aspect, the type of relationship that's forming between those two planets. So that's all good. Mercury on the 17th of September 
uh, moves into the sign of Libra. So there we see um, an interesting moment um, where your your sense of lightness, your sense of humour, and your intellectual vitality will start to resurge. Okay, so I'd be saying to you, hang in there till around that date, that's the 17th, and you should start to see a change in uh, the pattern of these energies. Slight dip, 18th and 19th, when uh, you have that moon conjunction Saturn. That's always a little bit sobering, but that's not bad for you. It probably helps put the brakes on some of those other uh, forceful and abrupt energies. A, uh, an opposition aspect from your Mercury to Uranus means you may be a little impulsive around uh, that time, 21st to September. And uh, the other important aspect from Mercury to Jupiter, uh, that's, that's a key factor because Jupiter is in your ninth zone of higher learning and uh, also legal matters just now. And that is a particularly good aspect. So good news if any of you are waiting for important documentation, maybe from a government source. Uh, for example, I had a client this week who was having some difficulties with the embassy on his visa, bureaucratic information or correspondence that's required can usually come through smoothly at, at that time. Another aspect there to your ruling planet in the very last week, last few days of the month actually, is the Venus uh, moving to the right angle of Mars. Uh, Venus, your ruling planet, Mars, the planet of marriage again. Seems that this problem or this issue that uh, starts the month off is not going to go away and that could actually end up uh, very challenging at that time. We see the Sun also moving to the square of Pluto around the 30th. So that three days is rather intense and uh, it's, it's important for you to, um, I suppose, not react too strongly. This is particularly in the context of marriage or long-term relationships and especially if it has to do with finances. See you at my website, astrology.com.au, here next month as usual. Um, look forward to your company. Have uh, a great time. Take care now.